Yo, Joshua, you were you were a firefighter, right? A while mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you think about that job? I think it was amazing. Yeah, I uh, I was actually talking to a firefighter yesterday. I was thinking about maybe maybe checking it out. Bro, it's fun. It is. I yeah. mean, so back in North Carolina, we did twenty four on, seventy two off. Mm -hmm. But then 24 of your 72 hours, you'd be on call. So you'd, you'd run a pager. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like I had red lights all on my personal car and everything, mm -hmm. um, for the on call days. And then I don't know, bro. I, I liked it. It's something I would like to go back to eventually just do it. Cause I enjoy it so much. Um, I don't know, dude. It's there, when, when you're, like, when you're in a, when you're in a building, like a burning building mm -hmm. and it's like you and your boys and it's like, um, you open up a door and it like, it flashes and it's almost like it, like, it's almost like it's like roaring at you. Like it's like a mm -hmm. weird, uh, weird feeling. Like there's nothing in this world that, I mean, other than I assume like getting fucking shot at <laughs> that would give yeah. you the same adrenaline rush as that you get in that moment, you know, mm. but you gotta be okay. Like a lot of people don't understand like wearing a mask and having like a respirator on, mm. like a lot of people get claustrophobic. Okay. Are you claustrophobic at all? No, nah, I don't think that'd bother me. I had to do yeah. all kinds of shit in the military. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, one of the guys I was talking to I was talking to a firefighter. Uh, Jack, I was. I was an EMT the fire. The schooling right? part of it is only like three months or some shit, like here in Austin. So mm. I don't know. I might, I might go do that. But then obviously the actual getting hired process could take a while. Maybe. Depends on like, obviously it's harder to get hired in a big city. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't ever want to work in a big city because um, I can't do like ladder trucks. And shit like that. Like I can't do high Take rises. Afraid of heights or something? No, I'm not. I just, I don't know. Getting stuck in a building when you're carrying that much gear and you're up 20, 30 floors doesn't sound fun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, I would like, I don't know. I feel like I'm I mean, a there's, there, there, there's all kinds of uh, like suburbs here. I wouldn't have to be like working on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's like that's what I would go for. I'm there's gotta be the, the, SMG stuff, right? There's gotta be some camaraderie there too that you get, right? Hanging out with the boys, oh, doing bro. stuff with the boys. Not only them, but their family too. Like it's like mm -hmm. you know, it's like a second family, for sure. Yeah, I could I could see myself liking that. And you get like, I mean, you get to do a lot of cool shit too, right? Like because. Whenever I was in the fire department, the fire department, uh, our whole county would do a haunted house every October, mm -hmm. and each fire department would get a separate room to like them decorate and stuff, and all the proceeds would go to like one fire department to get new equipment and stuff. And yeah. the year that I did it, we had the last room, so we did a blackout room where we like cut off all the lights, and I ran the chainsaw. Oh my god, bro! I, I think that was the most fun I've ever had. Chasing people around with a chainsaw. <laughs> Scaring the shit out of people. Yeah, you're like, fuck it. Yeah, dude. Scaring scare people with a chainsaw, huh? Oh my god. I burnt up two chainsaws. Because I ran them so hard. <laughs> That's facts. And then we had to take a portion of the proceeds that we got from the haunted house and buy two more chainsaws because I fucking burnt two through them. And then I, they didn't let me do it again. <laughs> I mean, bro, we had the last room. And so I could chase people out, you know? And it was just like. It was, I was peeking. Did you ever just play with the fire hose? My fire hose? Yeah, did you ever just like play with it? They like, play shoot with it. Your buddies or anything like that? Oh yeah, no, yeah, fuck yeah. no, bro, dude. Those things shoot so hard. You can't like, control the the power which they like just spray it in, you know? Yeah, you can from the truck, but like, mm. it's still it's like. I'm farming over here, man. I'm playing OBJ, bro. OBJ player. Oh, Josh man. OBJ.
See ya. Cap and B real nicely. Boom. I'm feeding. You eating that meat, bro. Is this game like Pokemon? No. <laughs> Ever since you told me this game was made by uh, Mean Cuisine or whatever the fuck that game was called. Uh, yeah. Cuisine right now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's... I just feel like I'm playing it right now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Minus the goofy shit, right? The pot and pans. Yeah. I killed them though. I killed the other one. I'm the wiener. Holy shit, there's so many. I win the fight. Is the game worth it? Dude, hell yeah, the game is worth it, man. Oh my god! I was slaying. Dude, I'm going in the church for the flames are. Get it, son. This is about to happen right now. What's up, baby? The enemy is Welcome to the barbecue! Oh, oh. someone just grenaded in. Those shots just went. What? Bro, I tried to knife him. Listen, I don't want to throw the other team out of the bus, but I don't know if I've seen a team get worked like this before. The bots, dude. Like, as soon as you shoot, you know, someone in that squad, they all just lock onto you. I know, right? If was an actual player, I probably wouldn't even realize, you yeah. They're rapping, uh, in between A and C right now. So many on the throw, bro. They literally just got their ass whooped. Got Holy. That's work, man. Holy.